Hey guys, Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about... Baked beans. No. Kenny Loggins. Bonk. No. Free samples at Costco. No. Uh, thunder and lightning. Let's do this. What you doing? Well, I knew we were going to need some help with that thunder and lightning stuff. Plus, we haven't had a new character in one of our videos in a while, so... Done. So, Andy, I want you to meet our new sidekick, Roberta. Hello? Roberta. Well, what does she do? To be honest, I don't really know. Ask her something. Does chocolate milk come from brown cows? No! Are there really beans inside of beanbag chairs? What? No! Is there actual poo in shampoo? No! Hey, shouldn't we be learning about thunder and lightning? Oh yeah! So, Roberta, I got a question. I know a lot of kids that are scared of thunder and lightning, and I get it, it's a little freaky, but should they really be scared of thunder and lightning? It is totally normal to be scared, but you have a greater chance of falling in the shower, getting hurt on a toilet, or winning an Oscar, than being struck by lightning in your life. Wow, I kind of always thought that getting struck by lightning happened all the time. While getting struck by lightning does happen, it isn't as often as people think. About 300 people are struck by lightning in the United States each year. But that's out of the 320 million people who live there. Wow, so is there anywhere in... Berwin. I was gonna say the world, where lightning strikes happen more often? Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela is known as the lightning capital of the world. There are more than 300 lightning storms a year in this small town. Wow, all that lightning and stuff, it must be dangerous. Totally. Lightning strikes typically cause more deaths each year than tornadoes and hurricanes. Well, is there anything I could do to stay safe in a thunderstorm? Don't ask me. Ask him. Oh, oh my, what's that smell? What? It smells like somebody rolled around in dog poop. Oh, it's you. Hey, buddy, do me a favor. Go indoors before I strike your butt with a lightning bolt. I will, I will, but first I have a few... Hold on. Questions, if you don't mind me asking. Will you go away if I answer them? Yes. Then fire away, you Frank Fritter. Well, first of all, thunderstorms freak me out. Is there anything I can do to keep myself safe in them? I'll tell you what, zebrafish. I'll give you the best piece of advice I've got. When you see lightning, count how long until you hear thunder. If it's under 30 seconds, the thunderstorm is within 6 miles and should be considered dangerous. But if it's more than 30 seconds, you have time to get to safety. Here, let's give it a shot. But that was only 10 seconds, so that must mean... <gasps> that it's dangerous. Well, if I'm outside and a thunderstorm is near, what should I do to keep myself safe? Well, if you're caught in a thunderstorm, a car can be a safe space. If lightning hits near the car, the electrical charge can travel through it and into the ground without hurting the people inside, as long as they don't touch the metal frame. But whatever you do, don't seek shelter under trees or other tall structures. They are most likely to be struck by lightning. That's a good tip for when I'm outside, but what if I'm home sitting on the couch? Is there anything I could do to keep myself safe there? Well, buddy, if you're home, you should... Hide under your blanket and cry? No. Call your mom and then cry? No. Cry and then cry cry? No. You should think about unplugging appliances like computers and TVs. This can prevent damage from electrical surges. Aw, but if I unplug my TV, I can't watch my favorite show, Different Strokes. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> it's so funny because he's little, but he's sassy. Anyway, I highly recommend you unplug. Hey, buddy, are you listening? Over. Oh, For the birds. Hey! Sorry, man, I got caught up in this show. It went by really quick. Hey, speaking of quick, I heard lightning strikes are fast, but 
How fast are they? Well, lightning can travel at speeds up to 220,000 miles per hour when traveling downwards from a cloud. Whoa, that's pretty fast. Hey, Roberta, how fast is a lightning bolt compared to, I don't know, a bullet? A bullet fired from a gun only travels 1,700 miles per hour. If you multiply that speed times 129, a lightning bolt is still faster. Whoa! Are lightning bolts faster than planes? The fastest plane in the world can reach speeds of 4,500 miles per hour. Multiplying that speed times 49 would make it only slightly faster than a lightning bolt. Wow, lightning is fast. But do storms like those cause a ton of damage? Well, actually, Pepper Jack, thunderstorms can cause up to a billion dollars in damages each year. Take a look at some pictures of the damages caused by thunder and lightning. Wow, all that destruction and damage. Lightning bolts must be huge. Yeah, you'd think so, but a bolt of lightning is actually just one to two inches wide, which is small when you think about it, but they usually stretch to be about five miles long. What you talking about, mister? Sorry, man, but this show got me thinking. I know TVs, toasters, and a bunch of other things that start with a T run off of electricity. But how much electricity is in a lightning bolt? Each lightning bolt can reach up to about one billion volts. To picture how strong that is, imagine the AA batteries inside your remote control. Now imagine if there were over 625 million of them. Wow, remind me not to get shocked by you, but... Now for the million dollar question. How is lightning formed? Well, a lot of how lightning is formed starts with a cloud. If you haven't already, click the link above to check out the cloud video you made to see how a cloud is formed. Anyway. After a cloud forms, the warm air continues to rise, and the cloud gets bigger and bigger. In the tops of the clouds, the temperature is below freezing, and the water vapor turns into ice. Now the cloud becomes a thundercloud. Inside the cloud, lots of small bits of ice bump into each other as they move around. I'm a small piece of ice. Yeah, but I'm a better small piece of ice. Prove it. When these small bits collide, they can cause a small electrical charge. And eventually, the whole cloud fills up with an electrical charge. Lighter, positively charged particles form at the top of the cloud. I'm totally positive that I'm the positive one. Heavier, negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. I hate everything. I'm negative. When the positive and the negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark, aka lightning, occurs between the two charges within the cloud. That's cool and all, but you're not tricking me, Thunder Dude. Whoa, what do you mean? I've seen superhero movies before, bro. Amazing Spider-Man 2, Thor, Thor 2. If you strike me with lightning, I'm getting superpowers. I don't know if that's a good idea. Come on, you big sissy. Put him up. Put him up. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, were you scared, Mr. Lightning? You gonna look, look high in the tears? Hey, buddy, how do you feel? I think I have superpowers. Here, watch this. Hold up. Great Scott. See? I'm like that really fast superhero. Kung Fu Panda? Yes, exactly. Hey, Thunderlips. Do me a favor, give me another one of those lightning bolts, man. I want more superpowers. Hey, buddy, I don't know if that's a good idea. Come man. on, do it. Oh, you got cry a little baby with the tears. And the tears are going to fall down from your eyes. And they're going to go down your eyes real slow. Oh, you're scared? You're scared, they pants? Your pants are scared like you? How do you feel now? I don't like having superpowers. Hey, Roberta, what's the number for 911? Nine, one, one. Roberta, this is no time to fool around. What's the number to nine, one, one? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what you talking about, Cassie?